For nearly 16 years, the Saints Row franchise has provided gamers with a plethora of features not commonly seen in other open world titles. Whether it's customization, a wide range of mini games, or its unique collection of over the top and unforgettable missions. There has certainly been a lot of enjoyable aspects to the series, but you may be surprised to know that not every feature could be experienced today. These could be due to either servers being shut down or updates that simply deactivate the function. In either case, why don't we look at every mainline title and see which features are no longer accessible? Keep in mind that we're only looking at features that were once in their respected game post-launch and weren't cut during development. So without further ado, let's start with Saints Row 1. Back in August of 2006, Saints Row launched with an innovative feature for its multiplayer in the form of gangs. The system allowed you to join or create your own crew, which then could be used to compete against rival clans and rise to the ranks of the leaderboards. Some other perks of being in a gang included having a custom clan tag, a URL in case you wanted to make a site for your gang, and a motto. For three years, this would be the lifeblood of Saints Row, spawning countless feuds, online montages, and endless hours of fun. Though in October of 2009, the gang servers were unexpectedly shut down. You can still participate in online sessions, but pulling up to a lobby with your crew or going against another clan in a private session is sadly a thing of the past. Unstoppable. This would deteriorate the multiplayer's already diminishing player count and would leave fans yearning for this feature to return to this day. On to Saints Row 2, the game had a niche feature for some time that honestly a majority of players never noticed. Sprinkled throughout Stillwater are these billboards with the brighter future Ultor tagline that you've seen a thousand times. However, around 2009, some players started noticing real advertisements in their place. A majority of these advertisements would range from new movies coming to theaters, internet providers, and streaming websites like Netflix and YouTube. I personally remember encountering an X-Men Origins Wolverine poster and being completely blown away that something like that was in the game. Though the feature wasn't around long, ending some time before Saints Row III's release in 2011. Before we move away from Saints Row 2, I might as well give an honorable mention to the game's spy servers. For both PlayStation 3 and PC, the game's co-op and multiplayer operated through GameSpy until the studio was purchased by Glue Mobile in 2012 and permanently shut down in May of 2014. So unless you're an Xbox player, you can no longer participate in any online game mode or view multiplayer statistics. But thankfully, there have since been third-party applications which let you host LAN parties, and the PC servers will be restored once the patch is released. And yes, the patch is still in development. We haven't received many updates on the project, but the social media accounts for Saint Row have stated many times that the patch hasn't been cancelled. I'm assuming we'll hear more sometime after the reboot launches. And finally, for one last inaccessible feature, we have the beloved fan favorite from Saint Row III and Saint Row IV, My Steelport. My Steelport was an online service which provided players with a bounty of benefits, but most importantly it allowed players who made an account on the Saints Row community site to upload and download custom-made bosses that could then be selected in-game. Most of the other perks My Steelport offered primarily centered around the community site, but for one other in-game option there was Camera Mode. When enabled, you could take a screenshot while playing and later share them on your profile or upload them to the community map. The feature would only be improved with the release of Saints Row 4, offering more community features and even being able to transfer custom bosses from the 3rd into Saints Row 4 or vice versa. Sadly, my Steelport would have quite a few bumps along the road, being offline for a year at one point until finally being shut down on January 31st, 2018. Volition's reasoning for this was that they need to focus their attention and resources on future endeavors. And from what we've seen in the reboot, it seems my Steelport will be making a spiritual return and function entirely in-game. But for Saints Row the 3rd and 4 fans, the feature is little more than a distant memory. However, in May of 2019, a my Steelport emulator was made, allowing for PC players to once again upload and download characters using SaintsRowMods.com. It may not provide all the original functions of the old service, but it's still better than not having it at all. And there you have all the features that can no longer be accessed throughout the Saints Row series. Sure, some of these are fairly insignificant, whereas others are now fond memories that players yearn to experience once again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's a feature you specifically miss or have favorable memories of, please feel free to leave your experience in the comments below. And before ending today's video, I'd like to give a special thanks to my Patreon sponsors. John, Sam Just, Delta, Big G, Redskill 100, Dr. Purple Bunny 78, Gabriel Snyder, Fluffy Tail, Pokedex, and Specialist Angel Figueroa.
Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. I'm gonna hide behind the stag soldier, see how long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> you didn't even get to finish your sentence.